Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in Blackpool and I'm in a car park. Um, yes, I'm in a car park. Uh, a bit of a story to that. Um, <clears throat> got a flat tire in the Star Bus and I was hoping to go down to the promenade to film the Saturn and Jupiter close conjunction here on the Saturday night as they're approaching the closest they're going to get, which is on Monday. And uh, unfortunately, I got a flat tire in the Star Bus, so I couldn't really drive all the way to the promenade. So I've ended up in this car park here, Central Car Park. Now, this is the actual car park where I, f I first saw Comet um, Neowise. Uh, I look quite a bit further up, actually. I'm closer to the place where it's this time. And can you see behind me, we've got the dust sky there. We've got the sun's gone down about an hour ago now. We've just gone five o'clock. And I've come here now and it's just a perfect time and they've just popped out of the cloud Jupiter and Saturn behind me I'm just going to put, put something on the screen now to show you what I can see on my camera it looks amazing look how close they are together amazing um, they're very very close together in the sky now from our perspective um, and they're going to get to the closest approach on Monday which is the, also the solstice as well now, uh, I'm hopefully going to come out again tomorrow night and film some more tomorrow and I'll get my telescope on them this time. Uh, this was a bit of a rush job, obviously. I mean, I didn't expect the Star Wars to have a flat tire, but there you go. Anyway, what do you think of that? Check out that. You can even see the moons of Jupiter as well. How about that, eh? Just underneath the cloud. Now, I want to give you an idea of how you can see them. You need to get out as early as you can. Now, this time is perfect. Five o'clock. Between, say, five o'clock and, say, probably about six o'clock at the, the latest because six o'clock by the time six o'clock okay. by the time you get to six o'clock they're probably almost gone so anytime from five o'clock till say half five or a bit longer you've got a chance of seeing them in the southwestern part of the sky where the sun sets so uh, i'll just give you an idea on how you can see them okay i don't know if you can see this but i am holding my mobile phone out at arm's length and i would say that that is about 10 degrees above the horizon roughly it's where that thin sliver of cloud is i don't know if you can see that thin sliver of cloud there and they've actually just gone behind that cloud and that is how high up they are at five o'clock it's pretty low down 10 degrees up that's pretty much how high up they are at this moment i'm glad i've managed to get them after all the trouble i've had uh, because all this week we've had nothing but cloud um, we've had clear spells but the cloud has been in the wrong place so there you are there's an idea of how how low down they are so that um i don't know if you can see my finger but that slither of cloud is just blocking them out at the moment uh, but they will come back out again hopefully and uh, we'll get another chance to see them uh, the moon's up here by the way oh, oh by the way that place over there that's all lit up is a covid testing center how about that eh a covid testing center Anyway, I'm hoping that uh, they, they come back out of the cloud again. I expect that the, as they sink lower in the sky, they will come back out of that, uh, that cloud there. So let's hope that uh, that happens. Now then, check this out. You can just see them coming out of the cloud. They're coming out of the cloud. They just come out of the cloud. How amazing is this? Check this out. Hey, look at this. They just come out of the cloud. Wow, amazing. Notice how Jupiter is much, much brighter than Saturn, but that's because it's... Uh, much closer it's uh saturn is uh, twice as far away again as jupiter you're looking at about 900 odd million miles 500 or so million miles for jupiter it's also a much bigger planet jupiter as well um, it's the dominant force in the solar system apart from the sun of course um but um hopefully tomorrow if i can get my telescope on these two and they'll be even closer together i might miss the solstice because it's not looking very good for the solstice so my video might have to be tomorrow and hopefully i'll be able to get that out for you tomorrow evening um so if i get the telescope on them i might actually be able to get um some detail on saturn I might even be able to pick up the rings of saturn if we're lucky uh, with them being so low down it's going to be a challenge because the lower they are in the atmosphere the more kind of atmosphere you you're having to photograph through and it's a bit more wobbly and shimmery and, and all over the place the atmosphere is thicker so it is a bit of a challenge to capture detail on planets when they're so low down but as you can see we can certainly see the uh, 
the moons of Jupiter are all right there, no problem at all. Um, and you can see those with binoculars, by the way. So if you're not into photography, if, you, if you're not bothered about photography, if you just want to see them, get yourself out some binoculars and you'll be able to see the moons of Jupiter. And you'll also be able to see Saturn there next to Jupiter, very close together, very easily in a binoculars, or, or a short focal length telescope. You've got, if you happen to have one of those uh, spotting scopes, something like that would be really good, or, or a, a short focal length um, telescope. Um, but even even if you've got like a long telescope, you know, if you've got a reflector or something like that, uh, you'll be able to get these two um, in the same field of view. You know, if you're using a, I don't know, maybe like a 20 millimeter lens, I would expect that it, you wouldn't be too far off getting them in the same field of view. You know, even using a long telescope. So that's how close they are. Uh, well, that's how close they're going to be, certainly on the solstice anyway. Okay, so they've just sort of gone into a bit of cloud there. I do kind of expect, or I hope, that they come back out again. It's looking a little bit kind of iffy over there, but it's clear underneath. So hopefully they'll come back out of the cloud. So uh, I've, I've got some pretty good stuff so far. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move away from here now and see if I can find somewhere where I can include a foreground. And seeing as they're over by the Pleasure Beach, it might be worth going over there and seeing if I get, get a picture of um, maybe a roller coaster or something like that at the Pleasure Beach and uh, see if I can get the two planets in the, in the shot. So that's what I'll try and see if I can do that now. Okay, so what I've done is I've, uh, I've just moved to the other side of the car park closer to where the, uh, the buildings are on the other side and um, I've lined up a shot now, which is not too bad actually. Um, I think if I go to the place reach, I'll be too close. Um, so what I've done is I've just lined up a shot with these uh, houses here. So check, check this out now, what I've got now. I've got this, um, at the back of this house, which is all lit up. Seems like they've got these uh, Christmas decorations going on. You can see Jupiter and Saturn um, just above the uh, roof there. Uh, so I'll take a picture of that now and see how that one comes out. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the first picture now. So, and I think that's pretty good actually. You can see the two planets coming down there over the roof. And uh, we're still getting the moons of Jupiter there. The only thing is, can you notice that the building looks a bit soft? And the reason for that is I'm shooting with a 200mm lens. Uh, the shutter speed is uh, just uh, less than one second. ISO 800. That's just trying to stop the trailing of the planets. Um, but what I need to do now is I need to take another photograph and focus on the building and then I'll merge the two together and uh, I'll do that in post and I'll put the picture on now hopefully. Now then can you see that now we've got a sharp building and we've got uh, the planets there as well. A um, little bit of work just to, 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 to do that but because I'm so close to the building I can't get both of them in focus at the same time so I thought it looked better with a sharper building so there you go. Um, that kind of worked didn't it? Hey, we've even got a crescent moon as well. Look at this, through the clouds. How about that, eh? You see that there on the left-hand side of the crescent, the dark part of the moon? That's Earthshine. And Earthshine is the reflection of the sun off the Earth back onto the moon, onto the dark part of the moon. Looks absolutely amazing. How about this, eh? Another bonus. The clouds have really cleared now and uh, I think it's probably time now to head somewhere else and maybe I can go to the promenade now like I originally intended to and see if we can get Jupiter and Saturn coming right down over the sea. Let's see if we can do that then. Right, I'm just heading towards the promenade now. In fact, I'm almost there now. Uh, last chance to be able to see if I can capture these planets before they get too low in the sky. I wonder if we'll be able to see them going down over the sea. Anyway, I'm on the promenade now. Check this out. I've got Blackpool illuminations here. Look at this. Look at this. The yeah, place is open. Remember, we're in tier three. The illuminations are on. We're not open for business, but uh, the illuminations are on for us locals and whoever else happens to be here, really. So. It's about a quarter to six now, so it's uh, going to be a bit, they're going to be quite low by now, but we'll see what we can get. 
Okay, so I'm now down on the sea wall and uh, I'm not sure if you can see behind me there's Blackfield Tower behind me and if I turn around I've got the pier, South Pier, behind me and I can literally just see Saturn and Jupiter now I can just about see them above the pier they're really really low down and this is what I mean about getting out early to see them you really need to get out as early as you can say something like from half four I would say when you can just about see them in the twilight half four until half five is probably the peak time but I'm here now at six o'clock almost six o'clock and I can still see them they're getting really really low down you need to have a pretty flat horizon if you're going to see them at this time but anyway here they are I'll just put them on the screen now so there you go yeah you can there see. you can see them above the pier there look at that there just above the pier um, and I'm gonna hopefully like I said before I'll hopefully come out again tomorrow and do them again tomorrow and they'll be even closer together because the solstice isn't looking too great and I don't want to risk it um, I've just got to take my chances really okay so the two planets just about sank into the low cloud but I managed to get a picture of them just over the south pier there as you can see so I've not done too bad really Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to come out again and I'm going to bring the telescope with me this time. So we'll see if we can get closer to the planets and get a bit more detail on those moons and possibly even the rings of Saturn, weather permitting. So join me for that if you can. And um, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one. But I will leave you with a little look at the famous Blackpool Illuminations.